this is Zenith from iphoneblog.wordpress.com and today I'm going to show you how to change the, your program icons on your iPhone or iPod Touch using WinSCP. Remember, you'll need a jailbroken device and some basic knowledge of WinSCP to get yourself through this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is load up WinSCP and connect it to your iPod and then um, when you've done that you should be taken to a screen that looks something like this. Um, and you'll be in the you should be in the file directory private var root. Um, the first thing you want to do is click this up arrow, and you'll go back a directory to private var. And from there, you want to scroll down to the folder called stash and double click into it. From stash, you want to click on themes. Um, now I have two themes folders. Um, you usually just have one. But if you have two, just click on the one that's most recent. Okay? Um, and you get into themes, and you'll have a whole list of all the theme add ons and the themes that you've probably installed on your winter board. So uh, I'm going to click on the theme that I am using to get the icons and the theme that I'm currently using, which is Glass Clark. So I'll just double click into that, and then double click onto icons. Um, and icons, once you click onto that, you'll get a whole list of all the icons that are in that theme. And now you're going to scroll down to find the icon that you want. So since I'm using Byline, which is a, which is, um, a free, it's an RSS reader, I want to find um, an icon that looks kind of like an RSS feed. So I found one called Free RSS. So I'm just going to scroll down there and um, and here it is, uh, free RSS. And if you right click it, you'll get a whole list of options. Um, if you click open, you can see what it looks like you know, before you make the switch and everything. Um, and yes, it's exactly what I want. It looks like an RSS icon. So that's what I'll take. Um, so you just right click on the icon and you click duplicate and when you click duplicate it'll give you this little menu and you'll see a uh, asterisk period asterisk you want to highlight that portion and rename it as the program that that you've chosen so since I've chosen byline I will rename it byline and you want to add the um, file type dot png png is like really important um, it'll define it as a like an icon so you can actually use it and you'll see it on your springboard. You just want to check this little box that says duplicate via local temporary copy which just makes it a lot faster to duplicate it and a lot easier. And you just click OK. And that'll do it really quickly and it, um, you'll see that if you scroll up to byline you can see it right here and if you open it it's in fact that icon. So now you're pretty much done with the Win SCP side. All you have to do is load your iPhone or iPod Touch um, and just respring it. And once you respring, you should see the changes in the icon and you'll have a whole new icon set. And the cool thing about this is you can change a lot of icons really quickly and it, it gives you a, a nice uniform theme. So this has been Zenith from iPhoneBlog.wordpress.com giving you another tutorial. Um, if you like this trick and you want to see a little bit more tips and tweaks, uh, please visit iphoneblog.wordpress.com.